Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we'll learn what BPMN symbols are. BPMN, which stands for Business Process Model and Notation, is a popular diagramming model that is used to depict end-to-end -end business activities. Now let's see some common BPMN symbols. BPMN symbols are classified into four major categories, flow objects, connecting objects, swim lanes, and artifacts. Ideally, flow objects can be of three types, events, activities, and gateways. Now let's look at the first category, BPMN event symbols. A start event represents the starting of the business process and is depicted by a plain circle. An intermediate event represents any event that comes between the start and the end events and is depicted by a circle with double borders. And an end event represents the final stage of a business process model and is depicted by a circle with a solid border. To depict all kinds of actions, we use dedicated icons under each event type. Under the start event, we have message start, time start, conditional start, signal start, multiple start, and error start. Under Intermediate Event, there are Message Intermediate, Timer Intermediate, Conditional Intermediate, Signal Intermediate, Multiple Intermediate, Cancel Intermediate, Error Intermediate, Compensation Intermediate, and Link Intermediate. Under End Event, we have Message End, Signal End, Multiple End, Cancel End, Error End, and Compensation End. In the second category, there can be several BPMN symbols and meanings for activities. The following icons are mostly used. Task. This depicts any task that an event can perform. It is the simplest activity that can't be broken down further. Collapsed subprocess. This symbol represents a group of tasks, known as subprocesses, that are combined in one place. Transaction. This is a special identity of a subprocess that would involve a payment or a transaction. And call activity. A call activity is a global subprocess that you can take as a reference anywhere in the diagram. The third category is gateway symbols. Under gateway, we have different symbols like exclusive. Once the process is evaluated, it would break the flow into two or more paths that are mutually exclusive to each other. Event-based. An event-based gateway is also associated with a single path, but it evaluates if an event has occurred to meet the requirements. Exclusive event-based. In this, a new event is started when each exclusive condition of the flow is met for the predefined event. Parallel. The parallel gateway can represent two or more concurrent tasks that are not dependent on each other. Parallel event-based. In this gateway, multiple tasks are allowed to be processed, but they are dependent on the occurrence of a specific event. Inclusive. This gateway breaks the overall flow of the process into multiple flows that can have dedicated triggering events. And complex. This is used to describe a complex flow in our business process. For instance, when a business gateway has multiple flows with different factors. Connecting objects can be of three types. A sequence flow symbol is used to depict the flow in a process that is in sequential order. It is represented by a solid line with directional arrows. A message flow symbol simply represents how a message is shared across a process and is depicted by dotted lines with directional arrows. And an associate symbol depicts any kind of association or relationship between artifacts and other objects, represented by a dotted line. The fourth category is swim lanes. Swim lanes are one of the most important BPMN symbols, as they provide an overall framework for the diagram. Using these symbols, we can organize business processes into different categories. Lastly, the fourth category is artifacts, under which we have annotations. Annotations are special BPMN symbols that are used for commenting. They are represented by a line and a square with a comment inside. Groups. Groups are used as an organizational tool to represent common tasks in one place. Data. This simply represents any piece of information that exists in the system. Incoming data. This depicts any incoming data that is required by a specific task in the system. Outgoing data. This represents any piece of information that is produced by a task or an event in the system. Data collection. This simply signifies a collective piece of information that is produced by the system. And data storage. This represents an entity that is responsible for storing data in the system. Now let's learn some expert tips for using BPMN symbols. 
If you want to make the most of these BPMN symbols and come up with stunning BPMN diagrams, then consider using a professional diagramming tool like eDraw Max. You will find all the BPMN symbols we just learned about that you can readily use. Just go to your canvas and search for the BPMN symbols from the library option. You can drag and drop any required symbols and create your own BPMN diagram as shown. Now let's look at some BPMN examples. This is a book borrowing process. Here is an iPhone ordering process in BPMN. This is an employee recruitment process. And this is a BPMN diagram for buying a pizza. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max.